Hey guys, Bridget here, and in this video I want to talk about the best options which you have at your disposal in order to create a design portfolio website. So let's start with the talk of the town, which is Webflow. Now, as you may know, Webflow is one of the most popular website builders out there, especially for designers, since it basically allows you to create really cool looking designs and to really tweak all of the options in a very customized way, but without having to go and dive deep into the code. So Webflow is definitely one great option to consider, but one of the things that you have also to keep in mind is that Webflow is going to take some time to learn, especially if you're going to go with the more customized and tailor-made design. So you must have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS still, since uh, Otherwise, some of the layout options, especially, and uh, you know, some some more advanced settings are not really going to make a lot of sense right away. So definitely keep that in mind. But Webflow is uh, one of the most uh, common and uh, a solution which I most suggest if you're looking to create a website and you already have a base knowledge of HTML and CSS and maybe you want to learn Webflow in order to offer it to clients, which is a great uh, niche in this moment because uh, Webflow designers, which are good, are really well paid actually. So it's definitely a good thing to keep in mind. Now, if you want to go with uh, something easier, in my opinion, you can go with uh, something like Squarespace. Uh, they have some really good looking templates. Uh, it's very, very flexible, very easy to use. And uh, it's the solution which I use for my personal website. Since uh, Squarespace essentially enables you to create a website very fast and uh, it's all drag and drop. You have no learning curve whatsoever because you don't really need to learn uh, how to use a uh, uh, code uh, you don't even know uh, <laughs> you don't even need to know how to use HTML and CSS since everything is uh, pretty much uh, visual and uh, I think it's a great solution overall now granted if you want to create something customized with a custom design Squarespace is going to be limited compared to Webflow since in Webflow you can literally code up and create any type of design that you want. You can create really advanced also animations and transitions and things like that. With Squarespace you have to basically stick to your to, to the templates and the themes that they have. But in my personal opinion, there's a lot you can do with, Square, with Squarespace. It looks really, really professional for the most part. So definitely an option which I suggest to those of you who don't really want to deal with code or uh, spend a lot of time in the technical aspects of creating the website, but they still want a very professional solution for getting into UI UX design or web design. And uh, the other option, which uh, is uh, the harder part, in my opinion, is to simply code everything up uh, from uh, scratch uh, or using, you know, library libraries and uh, um, code that you can find uh, around the web. But uh, I wouldn't really suggest this unless you really want to show off your coding skills and uh, it's something which uh, you want to offer maybe as a service or just something that you really want uh, to do for the sake of doing it. So there's definitely no, nothing wrong with uh, going with this approach, uh, but keep in mind that it's going to be to require you to actually learn or know already quite a bit of uh, HTML, CSS, uh, maybe some JavaScript, some jQuery, all those uh, languages. And if you want to go with a fully coded solution, um, my, solu my suggestion would be to either outsource it or just uh, try and uh, figure out uh, some uh, assets uh, or some uh, basic themes that you can leverage, such as uh, the ones on Get Bootstrap. Um, there's many other websites, by the way. I just really like uh, the designs that they have here. And uh, some of these are quite expensive, but uh, they're really premium designs. I really like the style overall of these, uh, um, of these designs. And, uh, I think they can basically help you to leverage and save quite a bit of time if you're going with this option. Or alternatively, you can go with the most popular 
website builder out there, which is another really good solution. And that is to simply use WordPress. Since uh, WordPress, uh, I think uh, it still works uh, very, very well. I have uh, a lot of uh, different websites in WordPress, uh, especially affiliate sites. And I also have websites in Webflow. And uh, I can tell you with WordPress, you can still do so much, uh, especially if you find the right themes. And when it comes to the themes of WordPress, I don't uh, really, I wouldn't really recommend you to just select any theme that, that you see and uh, that you like. And by the way, Theme Forest is one of the largest uh, theme marketplaces in the world. So definitely keep an eye on it uh, if you're looking for WordPress themes. But my best recommendation is to go with the best sellers. Now, why am I recommending this? Simply because the best sellers are going to have more um, customer support, they, ha they have bigger kits with a lot of different uh, options, they have better uh, plugin support and all those things which uh, smaller themes uh, maybe are not going to offer. And usually with smaller themes, m my experience always had more issues than with uh, the bigger ones such as you know Avada or any other ones that uh, you see with uh, a whole lot of sales. So definitely keep that in mind and uh, try to go with uh, a wheel which has already been uh, tested. So I hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 400 videos uh, talking about my over nine years of experience uh, within uh, the UI UX design world. And uh, I am basically sharing my knowledge for free on my channel. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in learning more about this. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.